Arrivederci. Bonjour. Gary, the tree whisperer walker. We're checking into another big, this is a mammoth piece. It's one of the biggest pieces I've ever done. It's a very unusual piece here. Here's the quick story behind this. About 14 months ago, I was involved in a near fatal accident right out of the blue. It put me in the hospital for almost uh, two weeks. Uh, I was on the most powerful painkillers known to man. I was in severe condition. Uh, I then spent three to four months rehabilitation. I had to use a walker, then I had to go to a cane. And um, something happened to me at that point. I'd been painting for seven years prior, doing 100 paintings a year. For some reason, I, don't, I still haven't figured it out yet, I lost all my desire to paint and creativity. It's like it just flew away from me. Very strange. The only piece I've done since then is this piece. And this is based on a sketch that I did when I was in the hospital, no doubt drug-infused, because every four hours I was getting powerful injections. I woke up in the middle of the night and I drew this picture on a 9 by 12 piece of paper. And, uh, and then about six months later, I, you know, I'm just like in a quandary, what's going on? So I just willed it that I'm going to do something to break the ice. So I took that small drawing and I uh, did a scale version. I, laid, I made a string grid all over this. I had strings everywhere, and I had to transfer the scale from the very small drawing to this. It was very complex. And then I had to sketch it out, and then, uh, then I had to paint it in. It's unusual because I've never done a drawing that has three distinct horizontal zones to it. And these are primary colors, by the way. The primary colors being blue, red, and yellow, the primary colors. So there are three characters here, uh, apparently two females, and then me in the middle that you can barely see. And one hand is up as above, so below. The other hand is reaching down here. Uh, this central part here is where I got beat up really bad in my body. Um, this woman over here, you can see both their hair is being blown. This one over here is very matronly, uh, like an older woman with big bosoms, and her legs are very set and, and coming, and her hand is coming at me like to reach in to help me out. And uh, the other woman, I really haven't quite figured out, both her arms are up in the air. I do have some text in here that I glued on, and then some smaller little pictures in there. Uh, I've got three stars. I've got vines everywhere, so whatever vines mean is symbolic of life. They're intertwined throughout along with black vines, and uh, there's a lot of texture in this painting. Uh, this whole situation drove me, I had to go to a, a trauma therapist for about three months. I mean, this really rocked my boat in a very bad way. And, uh, and I ended up doing a, some very deep, very intensive work. Um, I did a year's worth of therapy in about three months. I went two to three times a week, uh, two to four hours a session. So, I mean, I really compressed a lot. And that therapist, that trauma therapist who specializes in near-death experiences helped me out quite a bit. Uh, I still don't have the final picture or the final solution. Uh, up around here in my head here, a lot of birds and stars and all that kind of stuff here. This is from a, a tie. It's a piece of a silk tie. I, I glued that on here as well. Um, there's a door over here, very interesting. It's a closed louver door down in a corner from which the vines are emanating. And again, I'm not a Freudian Jungian analyst and I haven't really figured this piece out. But this is the only major piece that I've done. And so right now, I think the creativity is swelling up in me now, and I'm ready to move into the next phase. And I'm just being real and telling you how it really happened.